So this is the search widget, but it's, it's adding it, I don't know, add to home screen, but I already have it there. So I reset, I try reset, doesn't do anything. It just shows this basic search here. I don't know, I guess I guess I, I made it work in some way by removing the DuckDuckGo app. Uh, I could uninstall the Google app also, let's try. Uh, could I? I can't uninstall it, so interesting. Google app. I could do a, a reset, so I could clear the storage on it. I could do a reset on the Google app, so for stop. Let's see, it's gone from there, and then storage and cache, clear cache, clear storage. So now the app is reset, basically. And it will be like I just logged in first time, and still the same. So Google, customize the search widget. Okay. If I try to add it, I will add it to the home screen. It's going to try to add it. Oh no, did it do it? No. I want to get this one, but it's giving me this basic one. Maybe that's how it is now, I don't know. So this is the search bar there. If I disable it, it's gone. If I enable it, it's this one again. If I disable it, it's gone. Maybe I will really just disable it because it's not so useful now, but I don't know. Um, I was using it to do a voice search. To do, I was using it for the lens, search Google Lens, but I could use any other shortcuts from there. So maybe tap there and one more tap here. It was for the voice search and the Google Lens search. This is what I was using it for. But I guess this works now in some way. It's a bit strange how it is. In the settings for uh, default, default home app, I have, this is the Sony Xperia app, and default apps, I have default app, default browser app, hmm, default SMS, I don't know, maybe it's one of these settings here. Default apps. So we have for browser call directing, digital assistant home. This is the Sony Xperia. And these are the settings. I mean, I think it's a problem with the launcher itself with the Sony Xperia that's not really working well. And um, yeah, it has a search here, but does anyone have it like this? I mean, when I was offered to choose the default browser and the default search engine, I chose DuckDuckGo and since then <laughs> it's only trouble. I was able to put it back with Google. I was able to put the original search bar up with the Google app by doing a reset to set the default or something like this. It gave me an option to, for that, but on Android 15 now it doesn't really do that. I uninstalled the DuckDuckGo app and then the bar wouldn't work here. And now it's really just showing a basic search bar. It's not related to the Google one, so bugs, I don't know. Thanks for watching. At least I got something here. I got the Google bar to, at least I kind of got it working. I have to do an extra step if I want to do a voice command, but still, the, the Google Discovery is off of this. Thanks for watching.